Today marks two years since the death of Pamela Turner. She was shot and killed by a Baytown police officer who was later indicted by a grand jury. Now Turner's family is calling for that officer to be fired. They gathered with the activists today and other families to demand change. KPRC 2's Rochelle Turner is live in Baytown with a closer look at today's demonstration. Rochelle, what changes would that family like to see? Well, Lauren, they want justice for Pamela Turner, and they're also calling for Officer Guan Delacruz to be fired. Despite that indictment charge, he is still employed by the Baytown Police Department. Say her name! Say her name! A call for justice. Pamela Turner was a mother, sister, grandmother, and friend to many. Well, I knew uh, Miss Turner. She was our neighbor back when our sons were very little. Two years ago today, she was shot and killed by Baytown police officer Guan Dela Cruz. Pamela's daughter Chelsea celebrated her birthday yesterday and says it's been hard. I'm 24, guys. I'm 24. And this, you know. That's what I gotta do for the rest of my life. And you know, I, I'm coming to terms with it. I'm, I'm starting to be okay with it because no matter what, I know she would do it for me. Attorney Ben Crump, along with the families of George Floyd, Brianna Taylor, and a Tatiana Jefferson are calling for Dela Cruz to be fired. Dela Cruz was charged with felony aggravated assault by a public servant. A grand jury indicted him in September. He could have given verbal commands. He could have created distance. He could have called for backup. So many other black women are victims of police brutality. Trey the Truth says we must continue to fight for justice. We signed up to stand on front line. However many battles we got to go to war, we prepare for it. Officer Dela Cruz is set to appear before a judge in the coming weeks. Reporting live from Baytown, I'm Rochelle Turner, KPRC 2 News. Thank you.